eye on that all day, and it could get dicey out there. Yeah, it really could. Uh, this morning we had the rain mixing in. Temperatures in a lot of spots have been at or above freezing, so there hasn't been a whole lot of accumulation. If we did see a bit of a dusting, it kind of melted with that rain mixing in. But the potential's there for later today, more snow to arrive. Here's a check of our satellite radar loop. Again, the snow showers that were impacting Green and even Clinton counties are pretty much out of the area now. We'll zoom out and you can see the whole system as it impacted the area through the morning, now kind of fading off as it works eastward. And we're in a break in a lot of the precipitation, which will continue through the next few hours. But by late afternoon, early evening, this next batch of snow will be dropping down on us, and that will lightly accumulate, especially after the sun sets and temperatures really drop. So we're going to be in the low to mid 30s through noon as we head towards 3 o'clock this afternoon, 37. And then by 5 o'clock, we'll have more snow working in. We'll be dropping down near freezing then and quickly into the 20s beyond 5 o'clock. So that rain snow mix has ended. We'll have this midday break and then more snow arrives late day. Overnight accumulation looks like it'll be around an inch or less, so another light batch of snow coming through. But we could have some heavier bursts of snow within that. And then we're expecting dry weather throughout most of Monday, but it's going to be an active week. Monday night into Tuesday, we could have more snow, a light event, and then accumulating snow, more so, would be possible Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. So several systems to watch as the week goes on. It's 33 right now. We have that southwest breeze at 13 miles per hour. Our current wind chills 24. The winds are going to stay up and breezy all day. So even though we have wind chills in the 20s, these are actual air temperatures up in Minneapolis, four below International Falls is 14 below. Arctic air in place there. Not so bad here in the Miami Valley. Here's a check of future tracks starting us off at 1 o'clock this afternoon. A break in the snow, but then more works in for the late afternoon and evening. You see some scattered snow showers around at 6. Temperatures will be into the 20s as we head into those evening hours. So even just light precipitation, just putting a little moisture down on those roads. And we'll have the potential for some slick conditions as you're heading home from your Super Bowl parties. At midnight, we're back to dry weather. All of that active uh, snow has moved out by then, and we'll continue to stay dry through Monday morning. Your commute to work uh, tomorrow looks problem free. Even coming home from work, we will see an increase in cloud cover, but we still expect dry conditions at 5 o'clock in the afternoon Monday. Then Monday night into Tuesday morning, here comes the next fast moving system, bringing in maybe a half inch of snow through early Tuesday. So today we're going to be up right around 37, and any morning rain snow will change over to some afternoon snow. It'll be breezy with wind chills in the 20s. Tonight, snow showers are likely accumulating an inch or less for most of us. Still a little breezy tonight. And then tomorrow up to 27 degrees. It'll be a partly sunny but colder day. And uh, then we'll see that next system move in Monday night into Tuesday morning. Another light accumulation possible with that. And Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, we'll see yet another round of some snowfall. That's the one that may accumulate a little more. We'll dr be dry Thursday, Friday. And then another complex system will move in for the weekend with rain or snow Saturday.